everyone, it's Skylar. Welcome back to the channel. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing very well. This is officially Wednesday night review from... It's called Mon Dim Sum. Mon Dim, Dim Sum. So yeah, that's a tongue twister. So we've got a dessert and four starter dishes that... You know me, I absolutely adore my dim sum. Um, and some of my favourites here. One's got pork in it, pork and prawn, and one has chicken and prawn. Sumais. Sumai. I have gyoza and dumpling and hakwa. Hakwa. So, these are the dumplings. So, First of all, chopsticks out. Got a splash with a bit of a soy sauce, and of course, soy sauce does get a bit everywhere, as you can tell. So as I do my little trick um, yeah so hope that you guys are enjoying these pre like these pre-edited food reviews because I thought I'd do something different this week so you'll get a video put out at least four days this week so yeah. So this is the dumpling. So. Mmm. That's freshly done. I like the fact how that dumpling is pretty thick. Look at that. Juicy, juicy. That sounds like pork. It tastes like pork. <gasps> that tastes so good. That's one of the best I've tasted on that. Wow. I've never known a, a dim sum starter because we like our shumais. This is the, the prawn hagar. Hagar. So, as you do, same thing again. I've always done this trick. You need what you take away. Parts. But I just wanted to try the food market out of this. That's why I try it. That's why you got you're getting four different days of reviews in total. So the hagua. So this is the prawn hagua. So I've got the soy sauce mixing it in there. As you do, let's get them all mix them together so let's do this see look at the presentation of this one it's in your little wrapped in your little dumpling but this has got prawns in it mmm wow you can taste the flavour of the prawns. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to just gotta pause this to so let Pedro out the way. One second. 
Hey, I'm back. Um, yeah, so let's finish off this hagua. Can't even remember which one I had. It was so so good. I think it was uh, this one. Uh, so yeah, and the, it's king prawn in this as well. So yeah. Mm. Wow. You can taste the actual prawns in that. That's proper prawn. And it's fresh. Usually you don't get fresh prawn, but that's fresh. Wow. Unbe freaking believable. As I told you, I love my dim sum and I love my wonton soup. So this one is definitely the prawn. It looks like the pork and prawn. So yeah. So. So definitely. Whew. We're getting it. <laughs> so yeah. These will definitely be enjoyed over the next couple of days. Yeah, and you've got a, a dessert one coming up as well. A lovely dessert one. So yeah. Quite a, bit, a little bit tough getting that out there, but I got it. So these are uh, sumais. This one looks like the pork and prawn. I like my sumais that have got prawns in it. I'm gone. Actually, this is chicken. This is actually the chicken one. Um, it's okay. It's not the best shoe I've tasted. Um, I think I'm not used to chicken being a shoe mai. Which is like kind of weird. Um, yeah. I think it's a bit unusual for me to to s taste chicken in the sumai. It really is. It's good, but so far that's my least favourite. Um, only because. To me, and I'm going to sound a little bit controversial saying this, but chicken doesn't belong in a shumai. I am very controversial, I know, I've just said it. Um, that, that, but that's just me. That's just my opinion. I, I, it could be my opinion for one, and then someone else's for another. But I mean, it, it, these are a little bit cheap for shumais as well, because normally you're paying between five and six pound now for shumais. Sometimes even for four. So I paid four twenty each for these shumais. Yeah. So I will say the chicken one happens to be my least favourite shumais. Um, don't get me wrong, I like the pastry around it and I like the prawn. The prawn was well cooked, well seasoned. But for me, I'm like, chicken doesn't really belong on a shumai. I'm sorry, but uh, that's just me being personally honest. Um, so 
So this one is definitely the pro the pork one. Hmm. Whoa. Definitely taste some pro on there. Yeah. To me, these are shoe mys. Yeah, that's more like the shoe mys. Whoa, and that kick of the prawn. I will say there's not enough pork, but you've got you have that um a lot of prawn in that. Right, so now we have these ones. Sweet bread. Uh, sweet bread rolls. Oh, I do to me, it just looks like a piece of bread. Mm. Uh, honestly, you've got my honest opinion. Nah, I'm not a fan of these. I'm not a fan. It's too sweet. Oh, that's too sweet. I'm so sorry. I can't eat that. I cannot eat that at all. Whoa. That is not good. Um, if you like really, really sweet stuff, then that's for you but it's not for me um, it, don't get me wrong it looks good it's just as soon as I taste it I was like oh I don't like this it's too sweet I like a little bit of sweetness but that's too much you've got custard and honey and all the stuff in that and it's like it's not good at all so, I am actually going to go 2 out of 10 for these sweet custard balls. The reason why I'm going low is because I only like the look of them. The taste is a big no-no. Um, the chicken shoe mys, a 3 out of 10. They look nice. The prawn was good, but chicken and prawn in a shoe I do not mix. I am so sorry. So they're my lower scores. Um, we're going to go with these next. Um, these are the actual prawn and pork shoe mys, which I love. Um, the only issue I have with these is there's not enough pork. It's more prawn. Which... To some people, it might be a good thing, but I, I like to see my, I like to taste my pork in with a prawn in a shumai. So for that, I'm going to give this a six out of ten. Nice, but not the best. Um, the hagua, the prawn hagua which is spelled H-A-R-G-A-R. -A -R. These were so tasty. The dumpling itself was perfectly cooked. The prawns was perfectly cooked. You could taste that these were fresh. Um, so for that, I'm giving this an 8 out of 10. I would definitely buy these again. But top of the shop, the best ones for me. 
9 out of 10. And the reason why they're getting the 9 out of 10 is because this was perfectly cooked. The meat inside was so tasty. Um, it just melted in your mouth. I loved it. Um, this would be something I would have more going forward out of everything. Probably these two. Um, the other three had... The other three had like a now and again. I might have shumais now and again, but definitely the prawn and chicken and the the custard sweet balls, sweet buns. No, not. I can't. I am so sorry, you guys. So, yeah, would I go back to Mon Dim Sum again? Only for these. Only for these, and I'd like to try the wonton soup. Like, I know wonton soup's like nine quid to try. But to try these, and to just come away with these two, uh, I'd only go back there again if I was passing. If I was passing by, and I really wanted the Chinese, and I wanted to try these two, then yeah, I'd go back. But... I wouldn't go out my way to go back there. Not like with the Mexican food. No way. But other than that, um, if you do like your dim sum, um, I'd go there. I'd try it out. Um, and let, let me know your thoughts. Like, obviously, it's not for everybody, or well, certainly not for me. In quite a bit of stuff but obviously I enjoyed two things out of five let's put it that way so yeah that is your Chinese food review of this week from Mon Dim Sum um, in Renshaw Street it's in like the food court market um, so yeah if you enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, turn that notification bell, and you'll get a brand new video from me very, very soon. And yeah, we will talk soon. Ciao, ciao.